Well, good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, we're going to do a video to kind of start us off this morning. And those of you who have questions or need to contact me, I'm going to be available to Zoom today, but I'm not going to Zoom with everyone. So if you're someone who's needing some help with maybe your test retakes, maybe some of the things with area or volume, um, send me an email. I'm going to put this in my Canvas post for today, but if you would like to talk to me over Zoom, if you have some questions about some of the things we're doing in class, I want to make myself available just to ask me some personal questions one-on-one -on -one with some of the math that you're struggling with. So <clears throat> if that's you, uh, I'm going to have you email me, and then I'll send you the Zoom link so we can, we can talk. For the rest of us, though, I want you to spend today looking at your Unit 1.2 test and your Unit 1.1 test. If you haven't done a retake yet on those, I would love to see you do a retake, do some test corrections, look at those uh, test answers again. What did you do wrong? What can you fix the second time? Our goal is to always get to that level four, and if we haven't gotten there yet, I want to give you an opportunity to do that. I want to real quick spend some time on the test that I gave back this week, our 1.2 test. Um, there was one question at the very bottom that I wanted to go over and kind of show you on the board behind me how I did that. This isn't a question um, three that I was uh, seeing a lot of us get right, so I wanted to explain that and kind of talk, talk you through that. But this was uh, the very bottom. This is the transfer question, and I'm specifically going to look at part A. So if you want to pause the video right now and go get your test, pull out part A, I'm going to walk you through how we would do that. Um, I want you to notice, though, some of you got a four and you still didn't get part A right. You could have gotten parts of this question correct, like part B and part C, and still gotten a level four, but still missed on uh, parts on A. So I'm gonna explain part A, because that was the, the trickier part. <clears throat> so it says a moving van rents for $94.50 per day, and a small truck rents for $162 per day. So I already have the prices there that I wanna go ahead and write down, because I'm gonna use those prices to find out what the better deal is. So I've got $94.50 for the van, And then I've got 162 <clears throat> for the small truck. And we know we're getting two different things with those prices, but the question is, what are we actually getting? When you rent a moving van, you're, you're renting the space that it can hold. And that's why we're looking at a volume question here. That's why it gives you in that little table the length, the width, and the height. So we need to first find the volume of the van and the small truck if we're going to be able to do this. So for the van, we know this was the price. And if we look at the dimensions of the 10 and a half times 6 times 6, we're going to get a volume of 378 cubic feet. We're going to do the same thing for the, the uh, small truck, but different dimensions because it's a little bigger. So the small truck has a length, a width, and a height of 12, 8, 6, and 3 quarter, and that's going to give us a volume of 648 cubic feet. And so that's what you're actually getting for those prices. You're paying 9450 for this much space, but over here you're getting almost double the space, and that means it's going to be more money. You're getting more for that price. But the question is asking, which is a better deal? And so to find the better deal, we need to find about how much one cubic foot cost. How much does one cubic foot cost? Not 378, not 648. It's hard to compare those two because they're different numbers. We need to make both of them look the same. So I want to take the small truck over here and the van over here, and I want to change them to find out how much is one cubic foot. How much is one cubic foot? We know how much 648 is for the truck. We know how much 378 is for the, uh, the van. But we need to find out how much it is for just one foot so we can compare them and find out how much or which one has the better deal. Think about it this way. If you were going shopping and you saw a sale for, for shoes, you could buy one pair of shoes for $20 or you could buy two pairs of shoes for $30. Two pairs is more than one, but it's $30. It's more money, but you can do the math there. One pair for $20, well, that's $20 a pair. If it's two for $30, that's $15 a pair. That's a better deal. 
you're still spending more, but you're getting more, and one pair is, is cheaper when you do it that way. So let's look and see how we can get there. We need to take this ratio, this fraction, and get it down to one foot squared. And to go from 378 to one, I need to divide by 378. 378 divided by 378 is one. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the 9450, and I'm gonna do 9450 divided by 378, and that's gonna give me $0.25, dollars, or 25 cents. So each cubic foot is 25 cents for the van. Of course, we're gonna buy 378 of these, but we're gonna to look to compare at what one cubic foot is. So let's do the same for the truck. We wanna get from 648 to one, because we need to see how to get from uh, 648 to one to be able to compare them. So let's go ahead and divide by 648, because 648 divided by 648 is one. So we're gonna do the same thing to the top number, 162, divided by 648, and if you do that math in your calculator, you're gonna get $0.25 or 25 cents. Now we're looking at how much one cubic foot cost in the van and the truck, and they're both the same. They're both 25 cents per cubic foot. And so the better deal is they're the same. They're the same deal you're actually getting the same amount of space for your money. And so if you need this much space, that's gonna be 25 cents a square foot or a cubic foot. If you need this much space, it's the same price, 25 cents per cubic foot. So on A, when it asks which is the better deal, they're both the same deal. There actually isn't a better deal. Neither one of them is cheaper than the other one. So again, you didn't have to get A right to get a, a, a four on this, but if you're wanting to look at A again, you're wanting to look at and see what I did there, that's what I was doing to be able to compare those two, and that's how I'm able to determine which one's the better deal. So today you have some time to, to go over your test, look at 1.1, look at 1.2. You also have some time to look at the ratios we've been doing in class, the worksheet from Monday and Tuesday of this week. If you have some questions for me, reach out to me on email, and I'll get back to you so we can set up a Zoom time to, to chat real quick. Other than that, have a great day, and we will see you later this week.